Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Robert Fedoric. It is so good to have you here. This is for all of you who work in ServiceNow, but aren't necessarily ServiceNow admins or developers. Now I know the industry's dirty little secret. As a process owner or a fulfiller, you want to spend more time doing your actual job and less time dealing with the bureaucracy around your job. So whichever way you interact with ServiceNow, it had better be low friction. Now in my world, going fast has always been about two things. One, managing your lists quickly. And number two, one click access to all the stuff that I find most interesting. And if you give me five minutes, I'm going to teach you how to go blazing fast on ServiceNow. Let's start with list management. The secret to fast list management is using your middle finger to click stuff. The right click is the Swiss army knife of ServiceNow. Here I am on a list of 7,000 incidents. Here I am using right click to filter out values I don't want in a column. Here I am using right click to fetch only the records that are there for this architecture group. Here I am using right click to search for tickets that are created after a certain date. Another way to quickly search is clicking on the magnifying glass on the columns, then putting a star and a word you want to search through that column for. Star is ServiceNow's way of saying contains. Now each of those interactions have added conditions to my query. How do I know? Check out my query breadcrumbs. Want to quickly remove one? Click on the chevron, and it takes just that condition out. Click on a breadcrumb, and it removes all subsequent breadcrumbs. So now you can cut lists down to just the relevant stuff without breaking a sweat on your query builder. But what can you do with the lists once you've got them? How about modifying the data of some of them? Here I am control clicking on the assign to column. Then I double click one of the selections, ServiceNow warns me that multiple rows will be updated, and I go ahead and make the change. So now you can update multiple records without even jumping into them. But dang, what if I don't even have the right columns to edit? Here I am clicking on the gear icon. Here I am altering the list view to my tastes, adding work notes, and removing priority. Want to get it back to normal? Click the gear icon again, and click restore to default. So you've got a list, but you don't want a list. Maybe you want a report. Right click on the header of a column, make a pie or bar chart out of that column. Modify the report however you like, save it, and it's yours forever. And speaking of making stuff yours forever, we've spent all this time getting the information we want. Can we capitalize on that effort? With favorites, the stuff that's most important to you is always one click away. Here I am going to the star menu. That's where favorites are stored. Here I am dragging the query I just made over to it. Alternatively, I could have also used the ham sandwich menu to create a favorite. Here I am on an incident I want to keep eyes on this week. Ham sandwich menu, create favorite. This is the favorite modification interface where I can change the label, color, and icon. I can even favorite stuff out of the navigator bar. Here I am favoriting the create new incident option from my navigator. Need to modify the name, color, or icon of a favorite later on? Click on the pencil icon at the bottom of the favorite navigator bar. Here I am reordering favorites. Here I am changing the name, color, and icon of a favorite. So now that you know how to go blazing fast on ServiceNow, the only question is what to do with all that extra time. How about watching my Joy of Reporting series for even more ways to make ServiceNow work for you? This has been Robert Fedoric, your advocate and freelance vendor agnostic ServiceNow architect. If your organization needs architectural guidance that covers everything from design to training the front lines where the solutions matter most, check the description below for how to contact me.